Elliot Aronson was born on January 9, 1932. He was bullied as a child, which sparked his interest in social psychology. He attended Brandeis University for his undergrad, Weisland University for his master's, and Stanford for his PhD in psychology. Aronson worked closely with Moslau, who helped shape his career, as well as other famous psychologists like Festinger and Zimbardo. He has taught at many prestigious universities. Now, Aronson is blind, but doesn't let that stop him from working in his field of research. The American Psychological Foundation claims Aronson studied a wide range of topics regarding social psychology, such as social influence, prejudice reduction, cognitive dissonance, human behavior, and personality. Later on in his life, he went to intern at National Training Laboratories to study strategies of empirical learning. In Aronson's writing, The Return of the Repressed, he explained that in the 1950s, most psychologists believed that people were only attracted to things if there was a reward. The majority of psychologists had simplistic assumptions of the reinforcement theory, but Aronson challenged the reinforcement theory with his hypothesis that people also come to like things from which they suffer. With the experiments he conducted regarding the dissidence theory, he was able to prove his hypothesis correct. In 1954, most psychologists argued that desegregation in schools couldn't happen until after the prejudiced attitudes are changed, but Aronson argued in order to change prejudiced attitudes is to desegregate. He used the dissidence theory to prove a more powerful way is to change behavior first and attitudes will follow. In 1999, the American Psychological Foundation stated that Aronson's strong implications of the dissidence theory generated extensive research helping shape our basic knowledge of social behavior. According to Pettigrew in 2010, Elliot Aronson is most famous for creating a method called the Jigsaw Classroom, which is one of the most widely adopted and effective social psychological interventions ever advanced. And here's how it works. So let's say you have a classroom of 25 students, and that day they learned about five different ways to reduce anxiety. The teacher divides the class into five expert groups. Each group is made to study a specific way to reduce anxiety represented by each color. Students learn, rehearse, and know the specific material to a point where they can teach it to other kids. Then they break into jigsaw groups. A jigsaw group consists of one kid from each expert group. Students from the different expert groups then present their own material to the group as a whole, and no one individual in the jigsaw group can learn the entire lesson without depending on the other group members. Aronson claimed several findings of the jigsaw method. He said it was like putting together pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. They each had one piece of the puzzle, and each was dependent on the other children in the group for the completion of the big picture. Evidence indicated that participation in the jigsaw experience improves the student's general ability to empathize with others. Aronson goes on to explain that several subsequent experiments indicated that the jigsaw Methods' effectiveness at reducing prejudice and building empathy is not limited to young children and occurred in studies with adults too. On top of segregation and prejudice attitudes, Aronson was passionate about other social problems and used the dissidence theory to conduct successful experiments used to prevent the spread of AIDS and conserve water and energy use. According to Pettigrew, in 2010, Elliot was the first to convey in an influential style how to conduct laboratory experiments in the unique Luanian style. He did so in two books, Research Methods in Social Psychology, published in 1976, and Methods of Research in Social Psychology, published in 1990. The American Psychological Foundation stated that Aronson had a gift for discovering the psychological truths, then applying his findings to improve life in important ways. Students and colleagues consider Aronson to be charismatic, sophisticated, and intellectually powerful. According to the American Psychological Foundation, his PhD students are among the most creative and productive researchers in the field. Other famous psychologists like Michel spoke very highly of Aronson. In 2010, Michel stated that Elliot began his career by doing some of the most elegant and significant experiments in social psychology. Michel went on to explain that this gave the dissidence theory its sharpest teeth. 
Finally, Michel stated that the dissonance theory showed how far Aronson's experiments could take social psychology.